Welcome to Electron Online. Now we're going to talk about similar polygons. Now a polygon is a shape that has multiple sides. That's where the name polygon comes from. Poly means many. And so here we have an example of a triangle. There's two triangles and they're similar triangles. Now similar means that they have the same shape. Now what does that mean, the same shape? Well, there's some, some conditions. Before we get into that, we need to understand the word corresponding and we have corresponding angles and we have corresponding sides. So what are corresponding sides and corresponding angles? Well, here we have two triangles and they're situated in the same way that they have the, the small angle right here to the right, they have the larger angle up here to the upper left, and they have the something that looks close to right angle there in the bottom left corner. So you can see that the angles appear to be the same. This angle appears to be the same as this one. This angle appears to be the same as this one. This angle appears to be the same as that one. Now, since I have drawn it such a way with just the one little arc, two arc tick marks and three arc tick marks there, and the same over there, we can then assume that they are the same. So they're congruent. So this angle A is congruent to angle F. This angle B is congruent to angle G. And this angle C is congruent to angle H. So they're therefore called, therefore called corresponding angles. So A and F are corresponding angles. So we can write it like this. Angle A and angle F are corresponding angles. Corresponding means that they're situated in the same location with respect to the object or respect to the, the figure that we're looking at. So notice that there's three sides and three angles. So therefore, we can say that these two are congruent, those two angles are congruent, and those two angles are congruent. Now, if, if those angles are corresponding and they are congruent, then we have a good chance that we're looking at the same shape. Now also, we have the consideration of the corresponding sides. Now notice that this side up here is corresponding to this side right there, so they're called, therefore called corresponding sides. This side here is corresponding to this side here, so they're corresponding sides. And this side here is corresponding to that side, therefore that's also called corresponding sides. Now it turns out that they're not congruent. They're different in size, which makes them similar, but not the exact same. So they're not the same polygons, they're similar polygons. They have the same angles, or congruent angles, the corresponding angles are congruent, and they have sides that are corresponding to one another, and it turns out that the ratios of those sides are the same, or what we call proportional. For example, if I divide the length of this side by the length of this side, I will get a certain fraction, or certain ratio. If I take the length of this side and divide it by this side, I get another ratio. Turns out that those two ratios will be the same. And if I take this side, the long side, and divide it by this long side here, I get another ratio. And all three ratios will be equal to each other. They will all be proportional. So, if the corresponding angles are congruent, meaning the same, and the ratios of the corresponding sides are equal or the same, or what we call proportional, then we know that the, sa that the shapes are similar. And therefore, we have similar polygons. Now here's some examples of non-similar polygons. Notice that we have a parallelogram here. And notice we have a rectangle. Also notice that these sides have length 3. The sides over here have length 2. So you say, well, are those similar shape? Are they the same shape? Well, it turns out they're non-similar polygons. The reason is that the corresponding angles are not congruent. This angle is greater than 90 degrees. This angle is equal to 90 degrees. These are the corresponding angles because they're both in the top left corner of the figure. And since they're not congruent, therefore we have non-similar polygons. Then if we go over here, we notice that this is a rectangle and this is a square. Notice that both the rectangle and the square have 90 degree angles. So all four corresponding angles are equal or are um, congruent. So these are congruent, these two angles are congruent, those two angles are congruent, and those two angles are congruent. So are those similar polygons? The answer is no, because the ratios of their sides are not proportional. For example, this side divided by this side, since those are what we call proportional sides, so 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1, but this side divided by this side, and those are also what we call uh, corresponding sides. So this side divided by this side is 1.5. So the ratios of the corresponding sides are not equal to each other. The ratios of the corresponding sides are not proportional to each other. So therefore, they're not similar polygons. 
So for you to have similar polygons, the corresponding angles must be the same or congruent, and the ratios of the corresponding sides must be equal for all the sides of both figures. Then you have what we call a similar polygon. And that's how we know.